Laminating is a process describing the layering of fat, often butter, and dough. The three most common laminated doughs are Danish pastry, croissant, and puff pastry. Even though these products are very different, they share several common laminating techniques. After the dough is mixed for puff pastry, or mixed and fermented in the case of Danish and croissants, it first needs to be cooled in a dough tub or overnight in the cooler. After cooling, the dough is pinned out, covered, and placed in the freezer from anywhere from 30 minutes to 1 hour. If you are using butter as your fat, plasticizing the butter takes place while the dough is cooling in the freezer. For some applications, the butter is removed from the cooler and immediately plasticized by pounding with a rolling pin. Otherwise, it is allowed to come to 9 degrees Celsius and then sheeted. Once the roll-in fat is plasticized, the dough is removed from the freezer and sheeted so that the fat incorporation method can begin. The dough should be between 0 degrees Celsius to minus 5 degrees Celsius prior to sheeting. The French method of fat incorporation involves preparing the fat to cover half of the dough, where the English method has the fat covering two-thirds of the dough. A bench scraper is used to fill in gaps and ensure an even layer of butter between the dough layers. In the case of croissants and danish, three by three folds are usually given to the dough, and in the case of puff pastry, these are replaced by four book folds. The total layers of fat and dough can range from 48 to 1200, depending on the laminating sequences used and the product required. Many variations are used depending upon how thick or thin you want the layers to be. Croissant and Danish doughs are yeasted where puff pastry is non-yeasted. In the case of puff pastry, all the leavening action comes exclusively from the laminating. With Danish and croissants, there are less layers and some of the leavening comes from yeast. The lift from the laminating is primarily from the conversion of water to steam through the baking process, the fat keeping the layer separated. There is some additional lift if butter was used as the water in the butter also turns to steam. In the case of pastry margarines, all the lift comes from the dough as there is no water in the roll in fat. Richly baked laminated products can add variety and great visual appeal to bakery and pastry shop showcases.